mean, how, how big a step is it for the team to win a game like this where you have a setback fairly late in the game and, and you still keep pushing it? Yeah, you know, um, it's it's a good win in this building. It's a it's a hard place to win. So hey, for us, it's you know it's an enjoyable win, uh, but one one that we worked for. You know, it, it, our game didn't change a whole lot tonight from the drop of the puck all the way through the the winning goal in overtime, um, and that was you know that was good to see. Probably the you know what. One of the things I liked the most was we, you know, we pushed a little bit in the third period, you know, even at zero zero without, uh, without any risk to our game, um, you know, and uh, uh, that's that was, you know, that's that's a, uh, you know, it's a good characteristic for our team. How much of a change was that from the second period where? You were playing well defensively, but you only managed the, the two shots. It's just the way the game, you know what I mean? That's that's the type of game it was. And in the second period, you know, we got caught, you know, little things in the second period. We got caught on a couple um, long line changes, but not, you know, not the not the obvious ones. Like, we, you know, we get stuck in our zone uh, on, the, on the one long line change. Um, but we, uh, we couldn't get our centerman off the ice. You know, we we had a centerman out there with different wingers four or five times. So that's just a matter of managing the line changes a little bit, and that's the second period. A lot of you know that that can really decide a second period in terms of you know how much you're starting with the puck, how fresh you are, um, you know, and and you know who gets possession uh, during the second period. When we talked to Derek, he said one of your messages was just keep it simple in yeah. intermission. In a game like this, is that easier or harder? Well, you know, I, this is, you know, it was a, it was a, obviously a, you know, zero zero hockey game all the way through. So, uh, you know, the trick is just to to maintain that simplicity, um, and that's, you know, that's what we did tonight. And that's, you know, for our, you know, for our team, that's it's a it's a good formula for success. Um, you know, we've we've talked all year long that we have to be, you know, comfortable in close tight hockey games and just keep playing the same way. Um, you know, we've we've gotten off track uh, in a lot of games that are close and tight. And tonight we didn't. Even when we down, went down, you know, by one with the power play goal against, uh, we just stayed with it. Um, and you know, that's the way you score in a game like this. It was, you know, a good face-off win. We got help from our winger to win it, and we got two to the net. And uh, just, you know, you know, a simple but real good play by Dunner to get that puck through to the net uh, for for the tip. And the number of block shots and, and just the guys kind of laying out and, and yeah. making sure that they were helping Rudy. It looked like maybe there was additional effort. Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, it seems like every night, uh, you know, over the last stretch here, you know, you can you can pull two or three shot blocks by Geo that are highlight. Um, you know, one stands out to me with uh, with JoJo, you know, when he, he had the broken stick uh, in the second period. You know, again, just, you know, doing doing what it's, you know, doing what it takes defensively. So those were, you know, those are good. But those are things we should expect to do. Those are things that as, as a group we should expect to do on a nightly basis. In the overtime, I know you guys worked down a little bit during the break, the longer break. But it also seemed like that we took it, the traffic took advantage of those guys trying to make a play. And Yeah. You know, we, I mean, over the break, we just, we had a chance to really talk about some concepts and how we want, you know, how we wanted to manage the overtime. And uh, we've been able to do that the last couple times out, you know, regardless of what the other team is doing, um, you know, just trying to manage our shift lengths, um, not trying to force things, especially early on, um, you know, take to a certain degree, take, you know, take what the game gives you um, until there is a breakdown. And, you know, we got that on, you know, on the, you know, when we, we re-entered the zone on, uh, on the, you know, the game winning goal, um, you know, they're, they, they couldn't quite find their coverage and uh, great play by Wenny to, you know, to get it into Larson, the slot in the, you know, with a lot of times you don't have that space, but they found that space and, you know, great for, uh, for Lars. Well, that made that big yeah, had a couple big ones. Probably none bigger than the one on Carter after we tied it up, um, and that was a that was a tough. Like he had to fight that thing off. Um, it's a guy you know that can shoot the puck coming down Main Street. So you know I look at you know I look at uh, you know the body of work tonight, and that one for me really stands out. There's other pretty good ones in there, but that one stands out. Good. Thanks, Dave. All right.